Hi guys. Um, I've not done it this way before, so you'll have to bear with me in relation to this being a bit of a practice. Came across some information <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago on about four weeks ago, Santos Banaki's channel. And he was talking about um, a line of monasteries that stretches across Europe over 5,000 miles, um, 4,200 miles to be exact. But there's a line of seven monasteries all named after St. Michael. And they're quite intriguing. So I went off to look it up and decided I'd make a little video about it. So this is the map on the screen here. And it starts off the coast of Ireland. It's actually out in the middle of the sea. If you look at this, it's right in the middle of nowhere that it starts. So it's like this little island that she you knows. And it's this little island in the middle of nowhere called Skellig Michael. And actually, uh, Skellig Michael is um, the island that they filmed the last Star Wars. They used that as a setting for it, but originally it was a monastery. It's not inhabited now as a monastery, and apparently it's pretty difficult to get to. I watched uh, quite a few videos on it. Um, in relation to people actually visiting it and they have problems getting on and off the island because the seas are quite rough and there's no harbour to talk of, just a place where you can step on and off boats. But it's kind of quite mysterious. Look at how steep it is. And um, the... Imagine that. <laughs> Um, it's really interesting. It's got all of these old shapes and all these old entrances, and apparently it's got all these old huts and things that you can step inside of, which were built donkeys years ago. A bit of history on it. Um, apparently the settlement dates back to the 6th century. Um, but saying there's accounts that date back to pagan times. Um, it's the most westerly sacred site in Europe. Interesting. So um, if you look at where it is. There you go. Wow. And um, like I said, Star Wars was filmed here. Um, and there's a lot of information. What I'll do is I'll link these links that I'm showing you down underneath the video when I finished the video, but it was uh, Luke Skywalker's Elk to Island Sanctuary. Um, so then the next place you go to is actually St. Michael, Michael's Mount which is right on the tippy tip, tippy tip of the of the toe of Cornwall. You know, like with England, it's got like a foot on the bottom of it. Uh, it's right on the tip of the bottom, just below St. Ives, near Penzance. And it's called St. Michael's Mount. I've actually been there donkeys years ago. Um, so St. Michael's Mount, you can actually walk to it at low tides. And one of the links that I got up here was um, this through time and tide. So this is it at high tide. As you can see where the slidey scale thing goes. And then it goes back to it at low tide. So at low tide, it's got this path that you can walk up 
can see people walking up to St. Michael's Mount. It's got like a, a monastery on top of it. And uh, it looks like it's a little village and stuff. And then it's mid-tide. You can see how people can't walk on it anymore because it's covered over. And then you go to high tide where it's completely covered. And then they've got like boats running backwards and forwards. So that was really interesting. So I was read at the other day, um I was watching a movie about a it's actually a really good movie. It was um called The Impossible or Impossible and it's about the tsunami in two thousand and four. And then afterwards, I was watching this documentary, and they were talking about um, St. Michael's Mount being hit by hit by a tsunami. And I thought that's quite interesting to put in this. So it says here that in 1955, the Lisbon earthquake caused a tsunami to strike the Cornish coast over 1,000 miles. The sea rose six feet in 10 minutes and ebbed at the same rate and continued to rise and fall over five hours. Um, this is a bit of information on that. But it also says on this article, again, I'll link all of this stuff below, but it says that um, St. Michael's Mount, Mount was originally in a wood and um, that you could, it, it was 10 miles away from the sea and that it was the rise in water level that sunk it into the sea. So that's St. Michael's Mount. And then if you look at the map, there is exact same place in France called Mont Saint-Michel. It's on the same line. We started Scale Lake up here come down to St. Michael's Mount, and then we've got a place called Mont Saint-Michel. Now, Mont Saint-Michel, it's got, you know, Mont Saint-Michel is actually a precipice that actually sticks out as against St. Michael's Mount. Go back again. You can see with St. Michael's Mount in the, in the UK, it's actually a little island or depicted as a little island. Whereas St. Michael's Mont Saint-Michel is in Normandy, is depicted as a little precipice, a little sticky out bit. That's it there. So um try and get to the top of the page. So this is it. this is Mont Saint-Michel. Um, it's a walled city, and you can see it, it's very different, actually, than St. Michael's Mount. But it also says on this one that they've built a bridge. Sorry, gone too far. They've built a bridge across to it um, so that you can access it at any time. Um, didn't used to have. Uh, originally, you could only access. You couldn't access it at all at high tide, um, as you got cut off. But then, what's that one? Thought I thought I got a picture of it. No, sorry. Um, I had a picture of it where you could access it at low tide, but there's a brand new bridge that. You walk across things you should know before you visit it. Um, read up on the tides. It does say there's a new bridge that you can walk across, so you can go across at any time. Um, and it's a village with residents. So then after so Mont Saint-Michel, I've been there as well, actually, many years ago. I was 15 when I went there. Um, so I didn't really pay that much attention to it. I wish I'd paid more attention back then. So coming down on the straight line, the next one is near Turin. 
in Italy. And it is called what well, a little shifty thing there. All right. Again, it's a monastery. And it is called Sacra de San Michel. And it's a monastery right up in the mountains. Um, as you can see, it's above the clouds. Again, another little walled city monastery on the top. Again, named after St. Michael. Just some pictures of that in the comment. Wow. That's a good picture. Um, some of it's in the ruins. There's a chapel, a chapel there. Looks spectacular. Looks absolutely amazing. There's um a map there of it. Anyway, then after that one. We've got another one in Italy, but it's right down on the coast and it's called Oh, I was gonna show you this one. That's about the Sacra de San Michel. That's the one on top of the mountain. So just question as to why. It's worth your time to visit the place and what the story is of it. Um, I was reading, it says it dates back to the 12th century, uh, but it probably built around the 15th century, uh, 5th century. Um, and there's all these stories about it and some pictures and some, uh, it's a stairway called the Stairway of the Dead. And it talks about the ruins and things, and look, look at the doors. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'll link all this stuff so you can have a look for yourself if you want. So then we move on to the next one, which is this one, which is called um, This one's called Monte Santiago, Monte Santiago, Monte Gorgano in Italy. So it's actually here. And the pictures of this one are this one here. So um, look at that. It's like built into a cave. It's like a natural phenomena absolutely amazing imagine sitting looking at the roof of that thing at a church um pictures inside and outside apparently it's a very um impressive place i was talking to somebody who'd been there uh and so it was actually amazing it's all built in or like almost carved into the structure. Um, okay, so then the next one is on the island of Simeon, Greece. This is a little island here in the middle of the sea near Rhodes. And um, I found this one very confusing there's actually two monasteries here and it keeps on taking you to the most popular one and I couldn't work out for some time when I was looking at it which one I was supposed to be looking at um, because there's one on the coast here that's actually a very famous monastery and then the other one the reason that I thought it was this one is because it says um Monastery of Archangel Michael, Rukinos. So um, it's right slap bang in the middle. It's around here somewhere. 
Mm. So the monastery of Archangel Michael is this one here. And uh, it's pretty heavy, isn't it? It's pretty old too. The old paintings. Um, so they're all dedicated to Archangel Michael. Amazing tree. Monastery of Archangel Michael Rukianos. It's obviously still a monastery. And that's where I got really confused because it's actually on the sea there. So one minute it shows on the map has been in the middle of the land and then the next minute it's shown it's been right by the sea. So I don't know. I got quite confused looking at it. Um, so the last one, so that's on the island of Simi. And the, the very last one is in Israel. And the last one is called Stella Maris Monastery. So you see how far we've come in a straight line from off the coast of Ireland to Mont Saint Michel, so sorry, St. Michael's Mount to Mont Saint Michel, to the, the one up in the mountains there. So one in Italy, the one in Simi, and then Stella Morris Monastery in Israel at the end of the line. It's right on the very, very edge of the map. Um so this one, like wow, uh this is the roof of the inside of the place. And um, again, I mean, black and white shade floors, star and painted ceilings, very, very intricate um, design and what have you. Pretty, very pretty, great art on it. Um, really worth a look at. So I'll put in the show notes what each one of them's called. Um, I don't think I can link the map, but I'll. What I'll do is I'll put it. I'll show you a copy of the map. Somehow. Take a copy of the map, or I'll just. Hmm. Anyway, I'll give you a written name of all the places so you can have a look and look it up yourself, just in the show notes. Um, I just thought it was absolutely fascinating. I even went as far as to extend that line out because you can you can actually mess about with this and I went as far as to extend the line to see if there was anywhere else on the on the line and it actually goes all the way to Australia if you extend the line in a straight line um but really interesting stuff I couldn't I, I just wondered if there was any more um that be missed off at but it goes right through India through sort of through Malaysia and down to Australia when you extend the line uh, but I got a bit lost anyway that was my first attempt at doing something like this doing something live and thanks for listening and see you later bye